hello, I'm Keisha Lee, Director of Student Support Services here at NCCU. The office works with students with documented disabilities and or medical conditions. And I got into the field working in K-12 and Durham Public Schools. I moved into working with students with special needs. And so I've been doing this work for a little over 13 years, um, providing services for students um, with special needs and talents. Um, I'm a junior here. I'm studying Family and Consumer Sciences with the concentration in Child Development and Family Relations. Uh, my name is Michael Wassel. Um, I am a uh, basically a freshman slash sophomore here at uh, North Carolina Central University. Uh, my name is David Fitz. I am a second English degree student here at NCCU. I, my concentration is in writing. In December 2010, I received my first degree as a bachelor's degree in mass communications. My name is Shannon Garner. I am a junior here at NCCU. Tell us about your disability and your greatest accomplishment and struggle so far as an NCCU student. Well, I have ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome, PCOS, Patellofemoral Pain Syndrome, and a couple of other things. My greatest accomplishment would be getting to where I am now. I did. I would have never thought I would have made it to my junior year. My greatest struggle would actually have to be staying committed and dedicated to my work. Mm -hmm. Everything outside of the classroom, I don't really have too much of a problem with, but everything in the classroom. With ADD, it can be kind of hard. Um, I have retinopathy of prematurity. I was born uh, three months premature and they had to put me in an incubator and they administered too much oxygen to my eyes. My greatest accomplishment uh, would be being able to get through um, a year here. Part of the struggle would be getting everything in on time knowing that I don't have people making sure that I'm doing it, so I need to make sure that I do it myself. Well, my disability here at NCCU is that I do have vertical issues, sometimes going down some steps. If it has a rail railing, I know I can grab on and, and walk safely, so I won't won't trip over steps. I need extra time when I'm doing tests or homework. One of my greatest accomplishments uh, here at NCCU is becoming the online editor of the Canvas Echo. I got on staff spring semester 2009, and then the next semester they offered me a position as the online editor. I didn't struggle as an NCCU student is when I'm finding time to do work, is making sure I do it correctly the first time so I don't have to redo it. I've been visually impaired for 16 years. It was caused from a disease called Stephen Johnson Syndrome. My greatest accomplishment was going to Appalachia State. <laughs> When I got there, I didn't have um, mobility training right away, and I had to find my way around by myself. Actually, getting people to know who I am uh, without judging me because I am visually impaired, those be my struggles. How do you feel students with disabilities are received on campus by students, faculty, and staff? It really depends on what type of disability you're looking at, because students like me who have um, non-visible, non-physical, excuse me, disabilities, people don't really know. I think that they're received uh, really well. Um, I've had no problems with students um, or faculty or staff. If, if anything, they have been really, really helpful. If a, if a faculty member knew that a student had this disability, they've rushed them in the class or they're taking an, an exam if they've had extra time, they sort of didn't acknowledge the fact that they've had a disability. I, mean, I think I'm accepted, but included is another thing. Because um, sometimes I don't know what's going on because I can't. They probably have like posters up and things of that nature. I can't read posters, so I don't know um, everything that's going on. How accessible and supportive do you feel the campus is? For me, I don't have much of a problem because I don't have a physical disability. But as far as the people who do, I've actually taken time with the ADA committee to walk around and look at what areas needed to be fixed. Um, I'd say that the campus is uh, 
pretty much accessible. There are some things that um, I've mentioned to um, student support um, about getting some things fixed. I haven't seen many problems. Is it because people are helpful? They will open doors if they need it, or help someone out in the class if they need it, or there's generally friendly and open to whatever a student with disability may need. One thing that I absolutely hate is the yellow poles that are sticking up in the middle of the um, sidewalk. Um, it would be easier if they would put them like, at the edge so that they won't drive up, but just to stick them like, in the middle, that makes no sense to me. If there was one message you'd like to send to the NCCU community about students with disabilities, what would it be? Everybody's the same. Even though we may have things that are somewhat different from everyone else, we're still human. We all bleed the same, we all pretty much think the same, we do the same and probably have higher GPAs. We are no different than people that are that do not have disabilities. Um, we just need different ways of doing things. People with disabilities are still people. We're, we are not different. We're, yes, we may have some things that make us a little unique from in, from the campus as a whole, but we are still part of the Eagle family. We're all the same. We all bleed okay. the same, cry the same. It, it's just that we we have limitations to what we can see or if we can walk or things of that nature or hear. Um, but we're all the same. There's no need to discriminate against anyone that's different. Just like if you were to discriminate against someone who's gay, it's not right. You know, everybody is different. The world is diverse. So everyone needs to learn how to accept and love everybody.